Beast Graphics here, bringing us a Photoshop tutorial, a Photoshop CS6 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create this type of uh, text look that can be used on your computer background, your YouTube background, or your logo. Now, this is pretty easy to make. As long as you follow the instructions, I'm just going to go into blending options here and show you guys what to do. All right, so the first thing you guys are wanna, gonna wanna do is go to bevel and emboss, style, inner bevel, technique, smooth, depth, 205%, direction up, size five, soft and zero, uh, use global light, it should automatically set this to 120 and altitude 30. Gloss contour, set it to ring right here. And then, actually, I think this should be checked. Wait, one second. Uh, no. Leave anti aliasis unchecked. Highlight mode, linear dodge, add, and then opacity 100% and opacity 100% on this one too. Next one would be satin. You go to blend mode, overlay, opacity 100, angle 19, angle 19, distance to 50, then a size of 122. And then again for the counter, you want to do ring and then click anti uh, aliasis. I think that's going to be set to invert. Invert. You want to uncheck invert and then check anti aliasis. Next thing you want to do is go to color overlay. You want to pick uh, this kind of light bluish color. The code that you can type in right here is 1DCAC4. Again, that is 1DCAC4. And then the opacity set to 100. Actually, you can mess with that as much as you guys want to. It actually looks good in a lower opacity. Like, I don't know, 40? 40 is good, I think. 40 is a pretty reasonable opacity for that. Then you want to have a, uh, actually skip the gradient overlay. Then pattern overlay, you want to go into your settings and then you want to click artistic surfaces. And then you want to click on the third one. And then have the blend mode, soft light, opacity 24, scale 100, and should be automatically set to link with layer. Now the next one is outer glow. You should have the blend mode to screen, the opacity 15, noise zero, uh, the color right here, just a plain white, technique softer, spread for size maximum 250, and then range 50, jitter zero. Don't really mess with this, I don't think. Now you go back to the drop shadow, and you go to the drop shadow, and then you do a color burn set to black opacity is 75 percent angle 120 use global light distance zero spread to 21 the size is 21 and that's it for that so that's how you pretty much create the text after you guys are done with that you should have a text that looks kind of like this right here and I will supply you guys a link in the description with this uh, kind of background right here, which is going to make your text look like this. It's a really nice text. I actually use that for my background on my computer. It's really, it, it looks really, really nice. And uh, next, you can use this for a background. The, where you want to copy and paste your uh, 
if you guys don't want to remember all of these settings, the only thing you guys have to do is going to your text from where you have your uh, text, the original text that you made this. Go into your, no, sorry. You want to go in and you want to do a copy layer style. And then you can go ahead and go into here. You can take your text tool. You can type in whatever you want. You type in hi. And then all I have to do is paste the layer. And now it's here. Just click control to move it around. And then, but you guys have to rotate the text before you actually do that. So then, yeah, that's pretty much it on how to create this. One thing that you're also, you can do this with any font, but the, it will look better in Ascens font. A link in the description, there will be a link to download that in the description. I hope that this was useful to everybody. Uh, please check out any of my other videos. I supply free GFX uh, intros, backgrounds, stuff like that, logos. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Bye.